Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Sick MRI, and this is an interesting case. An 18-year-old male had pain in the arm. They had, had a whole, an old injury, and they had this bulbous appearance here. The surgeon wasn't sure if it was a biceps torn. He thought probably biceps tendon, but didn't know if it was a lipoma or some funny soft tissue mass. Also had this funny uh, skin indentation down here distally over the biceps. So he thought maybe the distal biceps was torn and scarred. The, uh, he had done an MRI, I believe, of the elbow, and it looked like the distal biceps was okay, but uh, not quite totally normal. And also a shoulder, the biceps looked good up high in the shoulder. So there was no great explanation for why this was here, because the biceps was not ruptured distally. And so did an MRI of the humerus to look at uh, what this is. So looking up high here, we could see the biceps tendon and the bicepital groove looking good up high. And if we come down lower, we see the distal biceps tendon, we didn't get below this, but the distal biceps look good. Now as we follow the tendon up, 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 we're looking for the muscular tendon at junction. Here's the brachialis underneath it. Look at the brachialis was enlarged, like compensatorily enlarged. Now here is the biceps muscular tendon at junction, right about here. Normal in position, but the muscle does look a little atrophic, and there's a little bright signal right at the muscular tendon at junction. So it looks like there's been a partial tear of the central tendon and the muscular tendon is junction of the biceps long head. Very, very hard to see though. Almost looks normal if you just go up and down quickly. You say, hey, there's the biceps tendon, looks good, come down here, we're all set. But if you look really carefully, it's not quite right. That little brightness um, is not normal. Um, in retrospect here, as we look on the sagittal images, there's another little band over here that's curious, trying to figure out what that band is. But if we come on up, up, we see the biceps short head is over here. So the biceps short head, the muscular tendon is junction is really high. And it looks like the bicep short head is torn and elevated, and that that's what accounts for this funny bulbous appearance in the arm. Now, if we come on up here, things look pretty um, nondescript. It does look pretty prominent here, but it doesn't seem to poke out as much as it does in that um, picture that was provided. But this is the biceps um, short head that's balled up a little bit upon itself. There's the central tendon. Uh, right here, I guess, is the end of the central tendon. Now, we're going to put up a sagittal view. You can see that tendon a little bit better. And this is the biceps short head. Coming down here, here's the end. This is the muscular tennis junction, really way, way, way too high. This is the elbow joint, and here's the biceps uh, short head, bottom of the muscle belly. And that little nub in here is part of the tendon that's torn. So it looks like the tendon is ruptured, it's retracted superiorly. And we have a little fatty cleft here. Now, if we go over to the other side, lateral side, we can see the biceps long head. So we're going to try to find that here by starting distally. Here's the tendon, looks taut and pretty normal. And we get up to the muscular tendon junction. Here's where we have some trouble. Instead of a nice black central tendon, it looks a little attenuated. And we have a little bit of brightness here. It looks like a little bit of fatty atrophy right at the muscular tendon junction. So a prior partial tear with attenuation of the muscle and partial tearing of the muscular tendon junction, not ruptured. And again, the biceps short head is completely torn at the muscular tennis junction and retracted superiorly. So kind of a funny case there, and I thank you very much.